must pray for people who are our people in one position or the other. We must pray for people who are in uniform. We must pray for people who are leaders. We must pray for people who are in one authority or the other. We must pray this prayer because this was called a rank individual and a senior rank officer being killed and died. One pill that is hard to swallow is the inevitability of death. Nigeria was stunned by this reality for the passing of the chief of army staff after a period of illness. This thing is what is already in the spirit world and they must pray. And the reason why somebody will say, oh, why is this person prophesying this? We are prophesying so that it can be redeemed. Revelation signified victory. God wants victory for him. But if the person that is, I'm saying something, this is a person now is having what's called, this was called a heart issue. And this is somebody in a very rank leadership in this country. In this country, Nigeria, need to pray. Because in this was called urgent attention by a prophet of God to stand in the gap and pray. Because this is a very short time between now and what's called a few days and few weeks. This matter is what I see in the spirit realm. They must pray, must pray, I must pray. And the essence of this prayer is for God to redeem. Because when we pray, God will redeem. Because revelation signifies victory. We need God to redeem and save the soul of this man. Because his enemy has taken advantage. His enemy has entered straight away to take over his position. And also to take him out. May the Lord take absolute control. Pray for the army, pray for police, and pray for people in that very level and that category. Pray for them because God has revealed and whatever God has revealed, we must continue to pray and pray the prayer. We must also continue to pray about what's called, what's called, this is what's called, people of lawlessness and what's called, protest. We must continue to pray. Continue to pray about this matter lawlessness and protest that is going to be overwhelmed and overtaken we must pray about this matter don't sweep it under the carpet you see one good thing about this very revelation is that the revelation is coming in a time that you have seen things that has happened and god wants us to pray god wants us to pray if god does not want us to pray god will not bring the matter up and god bringing the matter up is for us to now pray and don't forget, prayer is a key. Prayer is a key. A key to unlock, a key to open, and a key to now close. A key to decree and declare. A key to say we want this, a key to say we don't want this. Whatever we use prayer to decide is what must happen or what must not happen. It's important that we pray the prayer because the Bible says the prayer of the righteous are very much. Somebody now begin to ask the major prophet of God and say most of this prayer, can you give us avenue to now know exactly what to pray? If you are confused on what to pray, the phone number of the major prophet of God is available and don't forget the number is plus two three eight zero three four two two five eight six six Plus two three four eight zero three four two two five eight six six. This is the number, and this number you can get it just by chat, by chat on WhatsApp or by text message. If you want to know deeper on what the Lord is saying and what the Lord is mentioning, we need to now go into it and pray the prayer because the prayer of the righteous, the Bible says, availeth much. It is not the will of God any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Wherever you're watching me, key your faith in this prophetic moment that the Lord is set to do something. Key your faith in this opening the secret moment with the major prophet of God. Opening the secret moment that everything that is secret, the Lord is going into it to give you absolute victory. And as I begin to hear the voice of the Lord, the Lord said, wherever they tied anything against your life, the Lord is losing them up. In the name of Jesus, wherever they take your matter, I am seeing somebody watching me right now. They took your matter and they went to a shrine. And they also sent you a message that you should come to the shrine 
to come and report yourself. Somebody went to shrine to now sue you in the shrine. But as I'm speaking right now, the Lord said, even the person that sue you and the shrine people, they can never get you anymore. Change your number. Change that number and take a new number because they have taken the number and they are using your number for negativity. Change your number and take a new number. The people who took your name to a shrine for evil purpose, they will miss your address and they can never get you anymore. I begin to ask, why should you change your number? And the Lord said, it's more important for you to change the number. And the moment you begin to change that number, you have confused them and you have confused them totally. And the number and people who are important to you, you can easily tell them, this is my new number, this is my number, and then that other number can be on once in a while to take contact and take whatever but that number should be changed this is a message a message with solution and the lord began to speak to me he said there's a young man this young man they have dictated something in your body what they dictated in your body is like and and, and this was called in the realm of the spirit this is what's called this is what's called something negative in your body but as i'm speaking right now the lord is bringing the power of possibility to enter into where you are and begin to uproot whatever is projected in to your body for i'm seeing the hand of the lord touching you to change your story once and for all whatever they dictated in your body that begin to take you money and you're spending the money and going for one treatment and another the lord has removed it out of your body in the name of jesus christ the lord have removed it out of your body in the name of jesus christ the lord have removed it out of your body in the name of jesus christ and the lord began to speak to the major prophet of god and he said right away every hand of the enemy that are raising up against you those hands are paralyzed those hands are disconnected those hands are silent those hands can no longer operate against you i don't care to know what the enemy have used to walk against you all this while but in the name of jesus that every knee bow and every tongue confess that jesus is lord i prophesy with every strategy of your enemies their strategy has failed them. Their strategy has failed them. Their strategy has failed them. The strategy of coming through your dreams. Every time the enemy is coming to your dream, as you say amen to what I'm decreeing and declaring, every enemy that comes to your dreams to operate against you have lost the battle where you are. Every enemy that come against you spiritually and physically have lost it all. They will not be able to see you anymore for the power of the Lord and the hand of the Lord is lifted up over your head to contend with those that contend with you to fight against those that fight against you to now give a blow to those that give you a blow in the name of jesus the lord is already in the battlefield a man is watching me as a man of god the battle in my father's house the battle in your father's house are much the battle that you are going through in your father's house is much you don't know how to fight this battle when you are fighting one another one is rising you are fighting this one that using your family members you are fighting this one that using another people to fight you to contend with you to attack you even in your dream and every other places where they are attacking you i am a prophet of god and i join my faith with you as you say amen to this prayer i am joining my faith with you to say that every strategy that they are using to wage war against you the Lord take that strategy away from them and overpower them and fight for you and give you total victory and arise and fight your battle fight against those that fight against you fight against those that fight against you fight against those that fight against you and contend with those that contend with you whoever have threatened you on phone are somebody's watching me now and you are telling me say man of god they called me on phone and give me a message and they told me that somebody said they should kill you listen anybody that said they should kill you the person that want to kill you will kill himself anybody that want to destroy us will destroy themselves before they plan and come out after you i pray and i decree and declare the angels of possibility the guided angels of the lord will move ahead of you to stand 
on the doors of your life to stand on the way of your life to contend with those that want to contend with you to fight against those that want to fight you to destroy every hand of power that has risen against you let the fire begin to settle your matter wherever they mention your name in the negative place where they mention your name the lord will begin to answer them anywhere they mention your family anywhere they mention your destiny wherever they conspire together as many as they are that gang up against you that make the country where you are or where you are things you are doing not working well you are trying like others things are not going the more you try nothing to show for i stand in agreement prayer with you i said that you will not stay there in vain the country you are you are not there in vain i command the soil of that country to favor you i command the soil of that europe to favor you i command the soil of america to favor you i command the soil of uk to favor you i command australian soil to pay for you i command the south african soil to pay for you every area of the country are you in africa are you in asia are you in europe are you in canada australia are you in america south and north america wherever you are it doesn't matter the distance distance is not a barrier it doesn't matter the country distance is not a barrier i prophesy that the hand of the lord come into action to redeem you to redeem you to save you from every impending danger every spiritual impending danger danger in your father's house i exempt you from that danger i exempt your children i exempt your loved ones i exempt everything about you from impending danger every satanic program i exempt, i decree and declare that the lord subtract you the lord remove you from every happening that make people cry every happening that make people run helter skelter every happening that make people regret every happening that make people have pain every happening that is not of the lord the lord step into action to make sure that something is working for you the hand of the lord is working for you the spirit of god is working for you the glory of god enter into your matter that you're staying that country where you are whether the devil like it or not God has given you a crown. I command the crown to be put on your head. The crown of life. The crown of greatness. The crown of success. The crown of breakthrough. The crown of moving forward. I command the crown to be given to you. As you are saying amen, the Lord begin to give you a crown. A crown of success. And I decree and declare for as many that are praying to rise. All of you that are praying to rise. All of you that are praying to rise up. I command the prophetic ladder. I command the prophetic prophetic ladder I decree and declare the prophetic ladder the prophetic ladder some of you have a destiny and your destiny requires ladder for you to climb the top of the mountain and possess your possession some of you have a destiny a destiny to fulfill the more you struggle you cannot fulfill the more you fight they are trying to block your way they are trying to hinder you the more you try it seems you are not trying the more you try it seems nothing is happening I stand in the gap as a major prophet of God I begin to prophesy. Oh yeah, receive ladder, receive ladder, receive ladder, receive ladder, prophetic ladder, spiritual ladder, spiritual ladder. Receive the ladder to climb to the top. Is there anything they have found you can have? Is there anything they have found you can be? Is there anything they have found that is impossible? I stand in the gap to prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy. I, I prophesy that the Lord begin to give you the spiritual helping hand, the spiritual helping hand, spiritual helping hand. You cannot do that document alone. The Lord give you the backup to do that document and have your green card your green card can no longer be delayed your green card can no longer be denied your green card can no longer they no longer be denied that permit that working permit can no longer be stopped or hindered every spirit that comes to threaten you that come to contend with you that come to make trouble with you in the name of jesus i place spiritual arrest 
to arrest the spirit and lock up the spirit whether the spirit is your father's idol or the spirit is an evil altar or the spirit is a covenant because somebody's watching me right now in the realm of the spirit i am seeing a promise you made somewhere and the woman is threatening you the person i'm talking to is a woman is a woman that is threatening you and telling you oh you 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 promised this you did not do it i'm going to do this i'm going to do that and from that threatening it has make you every time you remember your heart caught in the name of jesus i set you free from every palpitating heart i set you free from every palpitating heart i set you free from every issue issues of life issues of life i set you free from them all i set you free from the issues of life and let the lord vindicate you let the lord vindicate your family let the lord vindicate your destiny in everything that you do the success you always pray for that you have not gotten in your life i decree and i declare let the success come to you let the success come to you let the success come to you everybody that said amen to this prayer prayer is working for you every success you desire in your business you desire in your destiny you desire in your job you desire in your career you desire in your marketplace you desire in your dreams and aspiration every expectation of your aspiration you want to be this you want to be that whatever it is that you want to be that the enemy vowed not to allow you get there in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i stand in a prophetic agreement to prophesy that the time has come for the lord to arise and give you total victory the time has come for the lord to arise and said to you the time has come for the lord to arise and give you what you are looking for in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus on your way yes 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 there's a man that is right there in the realm of the spirit the lord is telling me what's called this is what's called cancer of the colon colon cancer and they applaud a pipe that you'll be eating through the pipe this is not life and this is not how god wanted it i don't care to know how the enemy succeeded in putting you in that corner but listen to me the god of second chance the god of possibility the god of miracles signs and wonders he stretch his hand and pull you out wherever they put you the lord stretch his hand and pull you out the lord stretch his hand and pull you out in the name of jesus every influence of the enemy against you has come to an end and i see the glory of god overshadow you and take away that pipe that you are eating through the column cancer disappear column cancer die and let you be free every incurable disease every moving object in your body every issue with your manhood your manhood your manhood every irrational dysfunction every irrational dysfunction going on with you that is watching me right now the hand of god has come to bring a total deliverance upon your life and that spirit of that woman that they use against you to make a love with you in the dream to cause you this erectional dysfunction in the name of jesus i break that covenant i break that demon i disconnect you straight away let the hand of god separate you from that power separate you from that demon separate you from those attacker separate you in totality separate you totally totally separated totally separated totally separated you are crying 
to God and you say what you are doing is not progressing I stretch the hand of progress upon what you are doing let it progress you that is watching from South Africa you that is watching from America you that is watching from Europe you that is watching from Asia you that is watching from any country of the world wherever you are I stand as a prophet to decree and declare that whatever is your issues the Lord step in and said to the matter once and for all and I prophesy upon your head every negative prophecy every negative prophecy against you some of them said there's a untimely death some of them said that you are going, not going to succeed some said idols are chasing you some said one thing or the other and those negative pronunciation has been attacking your mindset and the bible said if a man is in christ is a new creator all things are passed away and all have become new in the name of jesus in the newness in the name of jesus in the power of the holy ghost in the manifestation of the holy ghost I prophesy everything become new everything become new your job become new your place of work that people who are trying to conspire against you I shut up as many that are trying to conspire against you in the place of your work in the name of Jesus I command every conspiracy oh yeah backfire every conspiracy against you your job your business your place of work backfire every conspiracy backfire whoever is envious of you <laughs> envy is a symbol of witchcraft envy is a symbol of witchcraft the bible says suffer not the witch to live every witchcraft against you by envying you trying to envy you trying to envy you spiritually physically paranina katushata pranika talasonko pikatala bashkita akatufara vante every envious spirit as a sister Envy spirit as a brother, envy spirit as a neighbor, envy spirit stepmother, stepsister, stepbrother, step auntie, or whatever. I don't care to know. All I know is that you are under my ministration. I don't care to know whoever the person may be. All I know is the power has come to now vindicate you. Power has come to fight for you. Power has come to redeem you. The power in the name of Jesus has come to vindicate you has come to liberate you has come to fight and enter into contest with those that contest with you with those that contend with you the lord is contending with them holy spirit contend with them jehovah contend with them as men that contend with you the lord begin to contend with them Every contest going on in your life, in your life, Marku Patisha, Rabadikata, Roshkete Kuta Katiata. I see the Lord take over your battle, take over your matter. I see the Lord fight your battle and has given you total victory. And I see you singing a song. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah, I will lift him higher. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah, I will lift him higher.
once and for all in Jesus name and as major prophet of God I am standing the guard to make sure that I continually prophesy until everything that God has predestined for you 
are all come to pass. Therefore, your healing has come to pass. Your deliverance has come to pass. Your liberation has come to pass. Your total favor has come to pass. And the upliftment has come to pass. Every single thing you have prayed, the Lord, all come to pass. And none of your blessings or your miracle shall be hindered anymore. For God has given you total victory. And we will continue to lift God higher all the days of our lives. So once again, the Lord continue to favor you and the Lord continue to bless you and I need all of you to start testifying all the prayers I'm praying and God is doing something if you are the one just testify make a video and testify and send it to us let us upload your testimony for God is God and God is not a man God is doing something and what the Lord is doing shall be permanent in the name of Jesus and again tomorrow there are a lot of prophecy that are loaded in the spirit reign and God said it is by tomorrow he will be releasing those prophecies so that major prophet of God can step out here and prophesy all of those prophecies that God is showing the major prophet of God and by the grace of God by tomorrow I am going to up what's called a prophecy line tomorrow so I can be able to now begin to now prophesy to every one of you and when I prophesy every single word that come from this altar will be a blessing and the blessing will be permanent in jesus name yahweh 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 yahweh